Today we're chumming my dock with $500 worth of dead fish. Now in honor of the closing of 2022, we are ending it with a banger chumming my dock with so many dead fish to see what we can catch and bring over to the dock. We're using a wide variety of different chum here. We got big giant barracudas. I got two of these guys. These guys are studs. They always smell so bad. They always call it a big fish. Then we got two bonitas, which are super bloody, super smelly. Another great bait, great chumming bait to bring some fish to the dock. And then we have our next frozen bait, which is the smallest one, but it is a little jack, which will also be good for chumming the dock. Now in terms of all the smaller stuff for all the smaller fish and those really nice smells, we got squid, we got chum blocks, we got sardines, and we got live pilchard. Just in case we see a monster swimming around that doesn't want to eat our chum, we'll throw a live pilchard right to him. So let's jump right into the video. Let's cap 2022 off with a banger. And let's chum my dock to see what seems by. There we have it. The fish sandwich right here, ground up beef for all these fish. The most important thing we're gonna throw in the water today is chum block. This is gonna call all the fish in the area right to the dock, and hopefully it's gonna call that big boy. We gotta get this thing in the water because we got about two billion flies. And by the way, there is a literal seven foot freaking monster barracuda that lives at this dock. So hopefully we can get him here, we can catch him. That thing is huge. Get in the water, baby. Now we're defrosting these bananas. They're the best, best, bloodiest bait. Best bait. We are excited. So we gotta defrost them in the bucket here, let them go, but look at the pattern on these things. They're actually pretty cool fish. Not gonna lie, when you catch them, they're pretty cool. It sucks when you catch them, but it's also cool because you got bait for days, and they're also a really cool fight. They fight very hard. So once these guys are ready, we're gonna chop them up into bits, toss them out into the canal. Now just so we can cover our but just in case something swims by and we don't see it, I'm gonna be throwing this big rod on the side of the boat. We're gonna chuck a nice big old bait out there and just let that sit all day because you know, maybe we have to go inside, get some nice lunch and a shark comes while we're getting lunch. So this thing will be out at all times. Cross your fingers and we can get a shark. Maybe we can put him in the solar pond, guys. You never know. All right, let's get this big, big old head out there. <laughs> Good cat. Funny. Look at that, we just let this thing sit out. Let's go. Now we are gonna be throwing this out here. This is our blue crab trap. It catches giant crabs. And you guys love seeing it, and we love eating them. So uh, yeah, we're gonna throw this thing out there because with all this chum in the water, there should be a herd of blue crabs coming to this thing. So stocking this thing with sardines, stuffing it in there, and we're tossing it right in the middle of the canal to get all those big blue crabs. Okay. Well, that's a good start to the day. That's how you know you got no longer have a knife. That's some good chum. It's hard. All right, all the sardines inside there. Take a look inside there. That is literally... Crabs are some of the dirtiest creatures in the bottom of the ocean. They're bottom feeders. They're bottom dwellers. They eat whatever is dead on the bottom. So they should come straight into this I'll fish trap here. right here. This is the OG spot, guys. Big blue crabs for dinner. I'm thinking 100%. Four deans and a nice fish trap. So we're gonna set two fish traps today. We're gonna set this one and the crab trap. Watch this, I'm gonna be really crazy with this one. As far as I can get it, guys. <laughs> so we're just gonna tie it off right here. There's our trap. Let's see what swims inside later. We're gonna try this again. Got a new knife here. This is the world's best, world's best fish in the ocean. Probably one of the most valuable because of how many people use this thing as bait. We got a bunch of this like bloody stuff. First. I would like to say something first. That? Jack has a pizza in the oven right now. That Me? Eat with his hands. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Fork and knife. So today. like I was telling Fork you, knife. make sure you get the bonita on your hands because then you get a little extra spices. Luckily, luckily, Chris's dad, Alberto, <laughs> has the best soap ever uh -huh. known to mankind. Ever. Lemon, lemon soap. All right, let's get this stinky. I hate to break it to you guys. If you're going to the sushi place and you're spending like ten bucks on a roll, this is what you're eating, bonita. <laughs> it ain't tuna. You're not eating. This tuna. is what you're eating. But this is what the fish love to eat too. So let's get it all in the water. We got to call this shark. This is the. This is our prize possession here. Filet mignon. Gonna get a little bit different of a scent here. We got the sardines in there. We got the chum block. Let's get this shrimp in there. Whole bag. Salt bay that. Nice. Whole entire bag of shrimp. Okay. We're chumming, dude. If nothing comes today, then I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Maybe it's out in the middle. We just can't even see it. Yeah. Holy. What do I do? Holy. We need wire, Chris. We need wire, Chris. 
Guys, that is the biggest fucking parasaur. What do you think that thing wants to eat, bro? He's grabbing the carcass. He's grabbing the carcass. Whoa! He's eating the. He's eating all the shit on the bottom. Should we try and get him with the frozen then? Yeah. Hurry, he's going, he's going. He's going for that oh one. Oh my god. That thing is a fucking sea monster, dude. What the fuck is that? That's a fucking sea monster. Brooke, Brooke. Oh my god. Let me let me We got him. Let's go! Oh my god, there's no way! Let's go! No, he came off! No, Jack, what the Why did he come off? I don't know. Dude, this cooter right here is by one quarter of that one. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. We gotta get him back here. That's the biggest cooter I've ever seen. What the hell happened? We have four hooks in this thing. It never got, it, it, went never went yeah. it never went in him. That was, it never went in him. So he didn't get any hooks, so he wasn't doing kill hooks. You guys heard me say in the beginning of this video that there has been a monster lurking around this dock. And by the way, there is a literal seven foot freaking monster barracuda that lives at this dock. That was him. We've been trying to catch him for months, years, literally so long. Every time we come back from fish, from fishing, we throw our extra bait in there. That's the one. He lives in this canal, this freaking canal. And he eats everything when we come back from fishing. And that was the first time we caught him on camera and actually hooked him like we're close to him. This is not even half the size of the one that literally was just at the dock. He could eat this, that. This in thing one is bite. thin. That one literally you not <laughs> even fit your hand around it. It was like, a freaking tube. That thing was 40, 50 pounds, dude. This thing is like what, 15? We need him to come back. We need him. Fish like that, we have a big project in the works, guys. I know we talked about making a saltwater pond. We might change it up. I don't know if you guys see that pool over there. I might turn that into a giant aquarium, but that's up to you guys. 20,000 likes on this video. We need some likes. We need to make sure you guys want to do it because that is a giant project. So let me know if you guys want, to, want us to turn our pool into a saltwater pond, hit the like button. I just want to remind you guys to check out fishguide.shop. Make sure you go check out the Big Fish Energy Performance Tee. It's brand new, adult sizes and youth sizes and our new t-shirts that we're dropping. Get ready. We're dropping some new shirts, some new hats very soon. So go check out fishguide.shop. Get your fish guy gear for the holiday season. This right here is exactly what that Barracuda ate. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, my day is ruined. It's over for me. I wish I could go cry in my room and just never come back out again. Do I see that fish coming back? 50-50. I'm pissed at myself. I'm a true hard fish guy, and that's a fish of a lifetime, and honestly, I, it, I'm a disgrace to my own self, okay? This is what he ate. What was that? What was that? We told you guys that this is gonna be our money maker. This is what the fish are gonna want, and as you guys can see from the clips right here, that barracuda came in, and he was literally eating only this. He didn't go for the sardines. He didn't go for the shrimp. He went for the big bloody bonitas. These are the best things you can have in your freezer at all times. We got to call this guy back. So here we go. Please God, you throw it up to God and let God send it down. Now we'll get that barracuda. It's time to rebate. Time to get some fresh juices in the water. I mean, this guy is dripping. All right. He is dripping, 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 dripping. We're going to throw this thing in the water. This is, this is, it's good to throw some out like this because this thing really keeps the juices. Okay. It's not small and ain't going to rinse out quick. This thing's got the head, it's got the guts, everything. And it's gonna be splash effect. Time to grub, people. Dinner bell's ringing. Got him. What is that? It's not my day. It's just not my day. You're really, really slacking today. It's just not my day. Some days it's not your day, and today's not my day. Well, make it your fing day. They got him, Chris. There you go, you Chris. Can catch something, dude. Blue runner. That's a good bait. We need to keep him. We need to keep him. He's gonna go out for bait. That's Look a at that good thing. bait. That's such a perfect bait. Let me see it, Jack. That cuda comes back. Oh my god. Come That's here, little guy. Beautiful bait, Jack. That right there is blue runner. Listen to him. Yeah, baby blue runner. That is the ideal bait for that cuda. If he comes back, he's not gonna think twice about this. Trust me. That is such a good bait, and I think I'm redeeming myself slowly. That's promising. Last time we dumped shrimp in, we had that huge piss missile of a barracuda come. So we have to do. We have to. It's lucky. So let's get. Some salt bay in here. We already have a bunch of jacks, blue runners around the dock. There is a kuda around here. You just gotta commit. That's lucky shrimp. We sh there should be a giant fish here in the next 60 seconds. This is what the day's come to for me. Just playing with my hands today, guys. While we wait for the chum to ferment, we're gonna feed the boys some bonita because they love bonitas. Boys and girls, who wants some bonita? Three, two, one. Oh. Nice chunk of bonita right there. Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. Pans? 
Why does he want the GoPro, dude? That's all he cares about, dude. That's... Ooh, vacuum. Pants is getting greedy. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Nice pieces of freaking sushi for these guys. Butsy boy. Savage. Savage. Doesn't stop eating. Pants! Good boy. I wish I could pet them. I wish I could just pet them, but I'll lose my freaking whole entire hand. Same with me, dude. I wish I could hug them, too. Pick them up, hold them, hug them, take them for walks. Cuddle them? Yeah. No, not happening. Walk them on the street. We should get a tank with wheels. Like a 50 and gallon? Freaking take them for walks. They would love to see the world in the Let neighborhood. Let them explore. Let them explore. Oh, it's a nice one, Jack. Let's go. Let's go. It's a nice one. Should we get the other rod? They're still here, Chris. Holy crap, bro. How'd you even notice that? I'm gonna get wrecked on this, dude. Ready? You're on, you're on. He ate it off, he ate it off. Get another one. What the fuck? Oh, that's actually a big one. That's a stud, dude. That's a stud. That's a pond fish. That is such a good pond fish. Like, that's the size fish that we need to be catching and putting in our pond, or the size fish that we need to be biting. I mean, biting. Buying. Look at that thing. Look at that. That Look is a colors. fierce, fierce fish. And he talks, bro. And he talks. Listen to him. There we go. There he is. Let's there he go. Is. That a huge wake down I there, love dude. big fish, dude. That is awesome. There was like 20 of them that came in and oh. literally ate everything we had left in the chum. It's a cool fish. Definitely something we should definitely put in the pond. I think so. I think so, too. We're going to put him in here for the time being. He's going to sit there, kind of revive himself. Because if we were to throw him in the pond after, you know, a long fight like that, it's going to be easy meal for pots and pans. But for right now, we'll let him regroup, catch his breath, and then we'll put him in the pond. All right, we got some sort of jack here that Chris picked up from the tackle shop. I know jacks are really good bait because they're extremely oily, just kind of like a barracuda. After those, jacks came through and literally ate every last piece of bait we had inside there. We got to restock. We got to restock. Oh, a new it. pond fish, guys. This is the type of stuff that we like to do. We like to catch big fish. I love when we catch those sick aquarium fish like this, but they can't go in the pond because pots and pans will eat them in two seconds. That fish, that's going to be so cool to feed. That thing eats like, they're going to, jacks are such good. Eaters. It's gonna be such good content. Fresh piece of chum coming in. We're starting to get to those low light periods, which means I think our shark is knocking on the door. We're gonna spice up our chum slick here with a little bit of whole squid. The more, the merrier. You never know what the fish are gonna want to eat today. Clearly, they love the bonita. That is a fact, but we'll spice it up with some dang squid. Look at that little guy right there. Hopefully, you end up in a shark's stomach. We're gonna pull the crab trap because it's a lock and I love blue crabs because we're gonna eat these guys in a pot tonight. I'm gonna dip <laughs> it in butter. Oh, it's so good, guys. Chris loves cholesterol. I love cholesterol. Loves it. I have actually high cholesterol, guys. I'm working on it. I'm eating a lot of avocados to try to balance out that. What cholesterol. else are you eating a lot of? No bad oils. No bad oils, guys. You don't want to have vegetable oils, seed oils in any of your food products. Anyway, here we go. Here's a crab trap. <laughs> we're definitely gonna have fish in here. Definitely gonna have crabs. Yep. We have multiple yep. crabs. I see, I see a couple. I see a couple. Big boys. We Ooh. got two crabs. That's an eater. Two crabs. Let's go. That one could be good Dude, for bottom. A good bottom bait. There they are. There's the brand. baby. There we go. Nice, Chris. Dude, those things. Ooh, he only has one claw. He's got no claws. This one has no claws. So we can grab him. Holy Whoa. Claw. No claws. This one has no claws. Whoa. His claws are not in the cage, so maybe, uh, maybe a shark got him and spit him up. But look at that blue crab right there. Not the prettiest ones we've caught. These are pretty dark. There's, they don't have that much good blue on them, but it's not worth keeping just one of these guys, so you gotta catch Working like Working on taming them. this one over here. That one's got claws. Working on taming them. Go up right away. Dang, I get so Dude. scared. I get so scared, bro. Dude, no, I can't do it. <laughs> he can't. Look at the little one. The little one's got some cool blue on them, but the big one is not it. Check this guy swim off. He literally swims. Look at him. Swims. Dude, you're right there. Go. Oh. There he goes. Bye. There he goes. That one just swam. Yeah. He's got a free meal. He's eating good. So we got fish in the crab trap. This thing always does the job. I'm curious to see if we drop it in different locations, the different kinds of crabs we can catch. That would be really cool. We still got to hunt for the big cudas and sharks swimming around this dock, but maybe we should pull that fish trap to see what's inside that, and then we catch something out here. Oh, I see a lot of sardines. Yeah. Skunked. Skunked. You know, this fish trap right here is not one of my favorites. I like the bigger ones for some reason. You're asking for a certain size fish when you have a small hole like that. This thing's a train. It's time for him to go in the pond. Uh, don't got drop him. him, Jack. I got him. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, God, we almost lost our freaking. We gotta go. We gotta go. Side door. Side door. Run, run, run. We're adding another giant baby. Let's go. That's sick. Dude, he's as big as pots. They don't even care. He's too big. They can't even think twice about it. He's a beast. We dude. just have the giant. Let's go. 
It's a giant jack. That's so lit. Honestly, this pond's just gonna be killers. It's just, we just gotta put killers in here, dude. Once we get our new pond, coming soon, we will put some different fish, but this pond's just killers. Dude, he's ripping. He's sick. I love jacks. They eat like crazy. Epic live feedings in here. <gasps> so cool, dude. He's a big We're boy. calling him Thomas the Tramp. Maybe we'll get them to like 40 pounds and then put them back in the canal and let them wreak havoc. Now these fish, these jacks, they are iconic in Florida. It's literally, it's Jack City here. You catch some monsters here. So it's only fit to have a nice big jack in this pod. We're gonna keep a sharp eye on him in this pond. Pots and pans are not even touching him. They're not gonna bother him at all. But just in case, if he's not doing well, I'm just gonna put him back in the canal. But for now, I want to keep this guy in here just to feed him like crazy. Get him big. He's gonna do some epic content on the channel. So for now, he's in the pond, and he looks like the perfect size to be in here and to thrive in here. Epic. Guys, I call this chumming video an absolute success. We saw a literal sea monster at the dock today, and we hooked it. And you know what? I apologize to everybody that I did not catch it. I'm still bummed with myself, and I probably won't sleep much tonight. You know, I'll probably wake up a couple nightmares. I really think that Barracuda is a resident in this canal. That's not the first time we've seen him, but that is the first time we've hooked him. So I think we're gonna have to definitely chum again. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Don't forget 20,000 likes. This is totally serious. We're turning that big ass swimming pool, I don't know, 35,000 gallons, 40, 50,000 gallons and do a saltwater pond. Get ready, hold on tight. <laughs> we actually are doing it. <laughs> I'm serious.